What's up, fellas? Shit. What's up, fellas? Me and Richie are here on a beautiful Thursday night driving around buying car parts because Richie snapped all the studs off his BMW. So we bought five new stud bolt thingies after going to three stores because AutoZone didn't have any, Advanced Auto Parts didn't have any, and then we went to O'Reilly. So finally got some. Richie didn't want to go there, but we got it, and so now we're happy. And Richie bought me a Hot Wheel because I'm gonna help him with his studs. You're so, uh, new Ford Chili GT350R. Pretty pumped about it. Not gonna lie, probably hanging up on the wall. Let me know down below if you guys want to see my Hot Wheel collection. But there's not really a great YouTube video on anybody replacing these. Like, there's uh, vlogs about them or uh, forums about them being drilled out and. To get them out because literally all four of them just snapped and he was going around the corner don't really know how it happened but so we're either gonna try drilling them out or we're gonna have to just take apart the whole rear brake assembly and fix it so we'll catch up with you guys there and make a nice tutorial about it because there doesn't seem to be a going on YouTube so deviating from the Audi a little bit but BMW is the uh, other German brother so catch up with you then Alrighty, we are back at Richie's house now, and uh, this is what happened. If you can see that, but the studs literally broke off inside the freaking housing, or whatever you could call that. There's no ones up there, there, but they literally broke off right inside there, and. We need to get at them to take out, take them out, so we can screw in the new ones. So we're in the Harbor Freight because Richie doesn't have any tools. Got some metric sockets and a torque wrench, so that we'll be able to get them back in. But first step probably is going to be getting the brake rotor off. And once we take that off, hopefully we can get these studs a little bit better. So that's going to require undoing something back there, which hopefully we have the tools for. I don't know if we do. We'll find out. Well, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so let's see, where's the wrench? There's two bolts back here that are holding on this caliper. One, oh, I do not know if you can see that. One right there and one down below it. So that's what we're working on getting off right now. No! Okay, it's really bright, but we got the uh, caliper off. There's just two bolts on the back side. Look like this, they're holding it on from the back side. You just gotta loosen up. And there's one um, little Allen bolt somewhere. Anyway, one little Allen bolt that fits in like the hole right there that just holds the brake rotor on. And hey, now, dude, that's our problem. If we can get it out a little bit more, we could probably push one of these in. That would be bad. What do you mean? Well, I don't know if I'd be cross threading it or not. It wouldn't cross thread it though. But yeah, that's the problem is they're stuck in there and the drill isn't doing a great job right now, so it's oh, man, a bigger drill or something. Up. So we'll try to come up with a tactic and then come back. Alright, Richie found this threader thing because we're running out of ideas and Richie doesn't have a drill that has enough juice. But he twisted it inside there and we got it to come out a little bit. So maybe we can grab it with the pliers and keep it going, but it's gonna be hard. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Can you grab it the other way or no? There you yeah. go. Yeah. We have to find a new solution though. Yeah. Yeah, how do we get the other one out? 
that is slowly but surely spinning out. If you have a drill, you can usually just drill these out. If you if you get a hole through them, they're easier to come out. Cause they can. Oh yeah, that's looking good. That's looking really good. Yay! That was a week. How many? Two more to go. Two more to go. Two more to go. Um. Yeah. Try to do the same thing. We got the other stud out with a combination of uh, pinching with a wire snippers, which I will show you here. We kind of were able to grab it in like this and just got enough leverage where you could twist it right off. But this one, we don't have a hole to get in it yet, so we need to. Uh, let the drill charge for a bit, and I'll be able to get it. But meanwhile, Richie's uh, bushings broke right here. Those two are obviously supposed to be connected together. And so we got a new bushing that we're gonna replace, which requires tearing apart the trunk. So we're gonna do that now. We're in the brake caliper, too. Two. Where did they land Down there. Yeah, me and Richie uh, couldn't get the uh, couldn't get the fourth thing out for now, so Richie just wants to run four studs, so the five pieces get it like that. So he's putting it back together, put a new bushing in there too. Yeah. Woo! Hoo hoo hoo! Yeah. So now we got it all done. We're just putting the brake caliper back together and. And should be good to go. Hey, what's up, fellas? I didn't get a chance to really do an outro to that video and kind of end it how I wanted to. Um, but when it came to the end, we couldn't get one last stud out just because Richie doesn't have any tools and we weren't able to um, get a drill, the drill battery to last long enough to actually drill the stud out or get an electric drill because they didn't have one. So he's just like, screw it and left it in there. And so we got everything back together and we were just about to finish it up and he, Richie discovered that the little like built-in spacer that uh, is part of the lug nut because he's got the lug nuts that are, you know, as you saw in the video, it's like a, a lot, a nut, a lot, a nut and a stud combined. And the little like spacer thing that's right below the nut couldn't, was too big to fit inside his wheels so he had to get some different ones and that was off camera because it happened the next day because it was late and we just i just left because i needed to go home um but we did end up fix we did end up fixing it and he uh got everything all squared away and and hopefully he doesn't snap any more studs because that was kind of freaky and doesn't happen very often he said he was just driving and went over a normal bump and they snapped so yeah, hopefully it doesn't happen again. But uh, thank you all for watching this video. I hope to post some more exciting videos soon of the Audi. Uh, I'm just trying to find time to either get my window tints done or maybe another exhaust modification. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. Thank you for being so supportive and watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos down below. Take care, have a good day or night.